Yeah, how have you been after last week then? Good, yeah. It's been a good week, good positive week. Um, training's been very good and really looking forward now to, to tomorrow. Dublin last week as well, yeah. That's it, yeah. Look, it was, it was an important game last week. Um, we had to be right going into it, ready for the challenge, which it was. It was a, it was a challenge, and um, we needed we needed the three. We needed the the win, like we needed the the positivity around the group. And it was a it's been a great week this week. Training's been good, and we're all really looking forward to tomorrow now. How was it for you getting your start? Brilliant, yeah. Um, obviously. I've not had a had in a pre-season before that, so so the the work I've been doing with the with the fitness coach and and the lads um, is all built up perfectly, really, for the for last week. Um, and now I feel match fit, and I've got the got the minutes I needed last week, and feel good. So it was really good to get a debut. You up to speed then? Yeah, I feel feel really sharp. Um, say over the last two weeks, give it give or take two weeks, maybe ten days, started to feel like for the week leading into last week's game, started to feel really sharp. Um, so yeah, just ready to kick on now and, and keep going. How frustrating has it been for you to watch the team struggle defensively and have struggle for clean sheets and not being able to help them because you weren't up to full speed? Ah, of course, yeah, it's frustrating. But look, it's it's just where where we were at and where I was at. Um, I came in. I had no I had no no thoughts that I would go straight in or anything. I knew for like I had three weeks fully off. I, I know how it works. Um, usually you have a pre-season and you, and you have games where lads build up minutes yeah. throughout the pre-season. I obviously didn't have that, so it's a different situation. Um, so I knew that, and the work I've done with with Juxie and 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 the team and stuff like that there has all led me perfectly now to to now where I feel match fit and match ready. You obviously played against Motherwell in the summer and made your mark. When did you first get an inkling that they'd be? Interested in bringing you, bringing you here themselves? Uh, not long after, not long after the, the, those fixtures, really. Uh, I heard, I heard the first wee bits and pieces, and then obviously, you know how it goes over, over time. Then you hear it more and more. But I was just concentrated, obviously, on the season there and, and doing well, um, which I did, which felt I did, and and done well at Sligo. And and you obviously these things can, these things happen. So I just need to concentrate on the football. So that was it, really. I was, it was, it was soon enough after. It's a strange one because it was a very convincing win for Sligo in that European qualifier, but you must have still seen enough here to be impressed to want to come over. Yeah, well, look, you'd only need to walk out and see the place and, and, and the pitch and, and the atmosphere that night was class. Um, I remember thinking that evening, I said it before, I would love to I'd love to be playing here every week. So that was a big pull for me as well. And then obviously meeting the meeting the gaffer and, and his staff um, a couple of months ago before, before signing. <laughs> and cement, cemented it really. I, I loved his ideas and what what he wants for the club and his style of football and all that there. So it really suited me. You said when you came here, you thought you'd love to play. Here. What have you made of it so far? Then? Well, obviously I've not not played out there yet, but um, no, I've loved it. I've loved the place. I've loved the like, the lads are all great. Uh, it's a positive group. It's it's a good group. Staff are all class. Um, it's it's similar in in the sense to to Sligo where where everyone's down to earth. It's good people around the place. Um, no, I really, really have enjoyed it the last last couple of weeks. Obviously, results haven't been exactly where the manager wants them to be. Mm. It wasn't win last weekend in the cup. Do you feel that, from what you've seen since you've been here, squad wise, you should be higher in the league? You can be higher. Yeah, in the league. definitely. Yeah, the definitely. I would say that's that's the main thing I've thought throughout the watching the games and seeing seeing how everything is in training every week. Um, it's no look. Everyone knows we shouldn't be where we are. Where we are. Where we are. Um, so we have to just dig in. We've got to get up the table. We've all got to stick together. Um, keep doing what we've been doing because there's parts of the games where where it's been good. We just need to iron out iron out the things that have been happening. Um, so hopefully we can do that and get up the table because I do feel like it's too good of a group to be where it is. You said that it's been a really good week in training since that win. Do you feel that this can be the springboard, the platform to have a really positive second half? Of this yeah. Game? Look, any game you want to win every game, and last week was very important. Uh, and it was a tough game. It was wasn't it wasn't as if we could show up there. And, and if we did think that, we would have lost. If we shown up there and thought oh, right, we're just going to show up and win. Um, so yeah, it was really important to get that springboard. And as I said, there was a good atmosphere after the game. Good atmosphere in training this week, which there has been. Anyway, like the gaffer in, uh, installs that throughout every week. Um, but now look, we're all ready. We're bouncing now. We're ready to go for tomorrow. You uh, quite comfortable playing on the right hand side of the. Uh, Centre defence. Yeah, yeah, I've done it a few times before. Um, I think it's quite strange to get two left footed centre backs. I think we had it at uh, actually had it at Sligo last year as well, so it's strange enough one. Um, but now I feel yeah, I feel comfortable. Yeah. 
How have you saw it away from the pitch? How have you fitted in? Because obviously you came in not long before Christmas. A bit of a strange time to, to change club. I know I fitted in really well. I was was quite seamless. Really, it was good. Um, the lads, like I said, the lads have been great. They they were very welcoming and obviously got in. I was here maybe two weeks on and off, kind of two weeks before before January, doing doing work and stuff with fitness coach and, and and being around the lads. So it was good to have that period as well before January, before the games really. So I knew everyone and I knew what everything was about and stuff. Um, but no, I've I've fitted in really well, settled really well, in general. You got a chance for a decent break as well, just to kind of split up the. You know, the I, I did, I did, I, I got, I got a good, I got a good three weeks, and that's why, that's why now I suppose I had to do the, the build up. Um, obviously, if I if I had kept going, I would probably break down, um, th- towards towards the next couple of months. But no, I had a good break, and um, and as I said, the fitness coaches here built me up. They didn't just take me in and run me into the ground. They built me up to where, to where I have been now the last two weeks, kind of thing.